So today we will see the function generator, so versatile function generator model DG double two. This is a two channel waveform generator with sine, square, ramp, curves, the some standard built-in arbitrary waveforms with built-in seven digit uh, frequency counter and is having touch screen display. So we will see the demonstration of this particular product. We will go through with some important main functions of this product, what it provides. I am giving you the demonstration of this beautiful function generator, the waveform generator, model DG822. So this is a two channel 25 megahertz waveform generator and as we all know that the waveform generator is known by the maximum sine frequency which it generates. So sine frequency, the sine wave frequency of this function generator is 25 megahertz, the square wave is 10 megahertz and then other waveforms are having different frequency range. So these are the two outputs. This is we call as a channel 1 output and this is the channel 2 output. This third BNC is basically for giving an input to this generator because this is a input to a built-in hardware based frequency counter. So you are having a wonderful frequency counter of 7 digits and that reads up to 225 megahertz. Now this is a touch screen product. So this is a touch screen display what we have. So it's very easy to operate. So now let's start. You can go to the home mode. So let me go to the home mode. Now here you are having option like continuous signal what you want if or if I want a modulated signal output or if I want a sweep function or a burst function or advanced function. So right now this continuous is selected. So now let me connect the output of channel 1 to over here. Now to I have selected this sine wave. So now sine wave I can change its frequency from here. It is 1 kilohertz. Amplitude is 5 volts quick to quick. If I want to add a DC offset, I can add an offset. If I want to change a phase, I can change a phase. So these are the four important parameters which are associated with the sine function. So that can be changed with the help of this touch screen menu. Now let's see that. First, I have to see whether I am getting it output from the generator or not. So both the inputs are having output on and off function. So on off switch. So I will just press it. So this will be output on. So I am getting sine wave on my oscilloscope. Now if I want to change its frequency, I can change its frequency. Right now it is 1 kilohertz. I want to set it to a 10 kilohertz. I can select 10. From here I can select whether megahertz or kilohertz or hertz or millihertz or microhertz. Because this function generator is having frequency range from 1 microhertz to 25 megahertz. So wide frequency range what you get it here. So let me go and let me change the frequency to 10 kilohertz. So I am doing it 10 kilohertz and then say ok. So I will be getting the 10 kilohertz signal over here on oscilloscope. If I want to change its Again, if I want to go for 100 kilohertz, go here, select 100 kilohertz, kilohertz and say OK. So I am getting the 100 kilohertz sign there. So this is how you can change the frequency. So let me go back again. Let me go again and say 1 kilohertz. So I am setting here 1 kilohertz. Now similarly, if I change amplitude, if I want to change amplitude, so right now it is 5 volts per bit. Now if I want to change it to 10 volts pick to pick, go here, here you can see, either you can select VPP, milli volts pick to pick or VRMS or milli volt RMS. I want to set 10 volts pick to pick, say ok, I am getting the 10 volts pick to pick output from here. Again if I want to change it to the 5 volts pick to pick, go back, select 5 volts pick to pick, I am getting a 5 volts pick to pick. If I want to change its amplitude, Say for example, I want to set it 5.2 volts. So what can I do? So now right now the cursor is here. I can move the cursor from here and I can bring the cursor over here. I will see 5 point, see, sorry, sorry, sorry. I can go for here 5.2 and I will set 5.2 volts. But that, what I was earlier explaining, I want to change it to 5.4, go from this to here, see 5.2 change the frequency, I can change it, 
with the help of this round knob so i will select 5.4 5.5 5.6 now i want to select another digit move to the next right i can change this 5.7 1 2 the same way i can do it into the frequency as well so now i am saying okay so now i have changed the output to the 5.7 50 volts pick to pick so i will do again setting it to the 5 volts pick to pick okay so now i have this sorry that is 5 volts pick to pick okay so now this is 5 volts if i want to add dc offset into the signal i can use this function so this is for sine wave now if i want to select some different waveforms if for example if i go to the square wave now i am getting a square wave 1 kilohertz i can again say amplitude offset and phase i can change its frequency i can go here i can go i can say 10 and see kilohertz we go kilohertz so i will be getting the so 10 i will say kilohertz then i will say okay the frequency change to the 10 kilohertz per hour again go back i want to set it 1 kilohertz so this is 1 kilohertz 1 kilohertz okay so this is 1 kilohertz per hour same way i can change its amplitude of state and the now if i want to go for say example the next is the see i let me go to the pulse so now this is the pulse so now pulse I am getting, for example, I am getting the 1 kilohertz uh, pulse here, the 1 kilohertz pulse. You can see that the amplitude is 5 volts. Now, when I talk about a pulse, you can see that there is a duty cycle factor comes to the picture. So now this is a duty cycle. It is right now set to the 50 percent. So that means it is as good as square wave. But now if I want to change the duty cycle, if I change to 10 percent, say for example, if I select duty cycle to the 10 percent, now you can see that the duty cycle has changed. Frequency remains the same, but now this pulse width is changing. Now, if I want to set it for 80 percent, for example, if I go to the 80 percent, you can see that now thus the off time is less and the on time is more. Frequency remains the same. So, this way I can change the duty cycle of the signal. So, this is how I can play with the pulse parameters so now this is again set to the 50 percent by default to the m second if i go back again if i select ram now this is my ram this ram is also having a 50 percent duty cycle but now if i change its duty cycle say for example it is 50 percent if i change it to 10 percent what will happen it will be a negative going ram so now it has a negative going ram if i change to say 90 percent if i change this to the 90 percent if i see it same 90 percent you can see that it is a positive going ground so this way i can play with the sine wave the square or the ramp the pearls i can get a noise signal from here if i want to go back if i want to say dual tone i can get a dual tone signal i will send in the manual you can read what this du dual tone signal is Similarly, if I go to the arbitrary function, so now if I go to the arbitrary function, I can get an arbitrary signal. Now, what are the arbitrary signals the standard built-in has been provided? Say, for example, if I go to the common, so this is common means whatever the signal which I am using, this I have used sine C function. Now, if I go, say, for example, the medical signal, so this is a medical signal. If I want to set cardiac signal, so now I am getting a TQ RST signal, which is a cardiac signal if i go back again if i go to the arbitrary function arbitrary function now this cardiac is coming into the common which i am using as a common function if i go to the engineering say for example a negative hand a negative pulse a positive going pulse so these are all the, this logarithmic waveform so these are all different functions which you get it over here so this is how i can select whatever i want the different signals. So for example, if I want a trapezoidal waveform, so I will get a trapezoidal waveform. If I go back again, if I go to the arbitrary function, if I go to the engineering function and if I select a, say for example, staircase up, so I get a staircase up signal. So these are different kind of waveforms, different kind of functions. 
arbitrary functions which are grouped over here into different categories say for example continuous is the which one that which you are using it then engineer medical and some auto electric say for example if i go to the auto electric so this is one 